Dustin, nice job tonight. A career high for you and strikeouts. Uh, what, what do you take away from this outing, your third of the season? Uh, for me going forward, is just counting the zone, uh, just getting my balls more over the plate and allowing the, the hitter to make the mistakes. I mean, for me tonight, I was locating a fastball both sides of the plate. Cutter was working. 99 mile an hour two seamer to Machado. You made him look silly. You've had the, you know, everybody kind of looking at that pitch. When you're able to execute something like that, that just leaves the hitter guessing, what goes through your mind? Uh, for me, going in the game, I knew I, that I needed to get it in on him. Uh, I just saw success with it earlier um, last year. So for me doing that and seeing where he was at with that, it was just gave me more confidence going in there again and allowing it for later in the game. When you give up the first run and then you get out of the inning, you're screaming into your mitt. What are you, what are you saying to yourself in those emotional moments? Uh, for me personally, I just need to execute pitches better in my head. And that's kind of what I'm saying in my glove in a, in a nicer put way. Um, it was just, I was frustrated and I, I just put it out there to myself that I needed to be better. In a pitching matchup like this, where you're going up against another young arm but has some fiery stuff, how much confidence do you put in yourself and how much do you enjoy those types of matchups when you're going up against a guy that has good stuff as well? No, it's, it's always fun to go up against a, a pitcher that's doing well. I mean, it, it gives me a, a competition because I go out there trying to outdo the other pitcher every time. Um, that's kind of my goal is to just make the other pitcher look worse than I do. Um, I felt like tonight it was a pretty even matchup. We both went out and we threw really well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next question is from Jack Harris. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, Dustin. Um, when you talk about commanding the strike zone and being able to put the ball over the plate, was that, in your mind, the biggest reason why you're able to go a little bit deeper into tonight's game? Uh, yeah, and th there was a little more swing and miss tonight because I was I was putting the ball kind of where I wanted it. So it, it just allowed me to go deeper in the game with, with the swing and miss and being able to put the balls on both sides of the plate, it, it definitely helped. And I mean, the defense was phenomenal behind me tonight too. So that's always a, a plus as well. Was there a more concerted effort to use the cutter either a little bit more and a little bit maybe a different way than you did the first two times out? Uh, no, there, there was a no throw process. I mean, it, it, it was just better tonight. Everything was playing up and cutter was coming out of the hand really well. So, I mean, it, it just played better. How much are you getting to or enjoying the, the days between starts where you get to, you know, hang out with the other guys in the rotation when you guys are sitting around, you know, different parts of the park? Um, I mean, how beneficial is that to, one, be able to, you know, learn from those guys and also just spend time around them? No, hanging out with, with Strip and Kirsch and Bueller and all the guys, it's, it's really awesome to just be around and just to kind of pick their brain during the games and just kind of see what, their thought processes are and I mean it's it's fun to just talk I mean just talk about our normal lives get to know each other a little more um, I mean we're out in the open not really doing a whole lot so it's kind of it's kind of different being out in the stands where everybody's far apart and you're not in the dugout and everybody's pushed together so you kind of get into like deeper conversations because you're sitting next to people for for a while so it, it's nice and I enjoy it awesome all right thanks Next question is from Kerry Osborne. Go ahead, Kerry. Uh, Dustin, I'm sure the goal is consistency. So, so how close do you feel to achieving that consistency? No, I mean for me tonight, it was it was pretty good. I mean, I like I said earlier, I was commanding both sides of the plate very well, and my cutter was working. Uh, curveball was back foot. I mean, the one that I missed was it was a mistake, and he hit it pretty far. But I mean, other than that, I felt like tonight I took a big step forward and I just need to take it, keep taking steps off of that and locating pitches. But on a greater sense, do you feel like that there's like consistency from start to start? Do you feel closer to achieving that? No, for sure. I mean, it, the more, the more starts you go out and the more reps you get, the more comfortable you get. So for sure, um, consistency comes with, with the process and I'm, the more process is the more consistency. And how are you able to create so much movement with your two-seamer? Uh, honestly, I just throw it, and that's how I, it comes out of my hand. I mean, I grip it and rip it. That's that's kind of my thought process with, with every pitch, is I just let the grip do the work. Thanks, Dustin. Got a question from Kyle Glazier. Go ahead, Kyle. 
Hey, Dustin, uh, all your stuff is up about two to three miles an hour from last year. You're throwing strikes more efficiently. Really, everything has, has improved. Um, what did you work on to, to get to this point where you're you know, both throwing harder and throwing strikes more consistently? Uh, for me personally, I just I worked out a lot in the weight room and put about 20 pounds on. So that was probably my biggest my biggest thing that was this offseason was just putting weight on and getting a little stronger. So I feel like it's definitely helped for sure. Do you feel the ball you know, coming out of your hand and do you feel like you're able to hold your stuff a little bit longer? Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I feel the same as I did last year. It's just like there's more, more strength behind the pitch. So it's just coming out a little better. Thank you.